All right, back today with another review. This time it's a product review from Iron Man 2 again. Uh, this time it's going to be the Mark V bust, uh, which I actually got on Friday of last week, but uh, had a, had some family obligations had to take care of, so wasn't able to get around to it this weekend, and figured I'd go ahead and, and get it up now. Um, now, as you know, the Mark V figure has also been announced quite a while back, um, and is due to come out in quarter three of this year, I believe. I don't think Sideshow's website's narrowed it down to a month to which it'll be hitting here in the States, but, you know, so you're looking at, you know, the, the latter part of, of the year, most likely. Um, the bust itself is really cool. Uh, it's definitely, you know, as we've seen so far in the movies, the most unique uh, of the armors so far, uh, you know, you, you only see it for that opening sequence in Monaco, you know, when he gets, when Whiplash knocks him out of the car, and, um, you know, it's the suitcase suit, so, you know, while it's got a very short lifespan on screen, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool suit. Um, I've got him set up over there, let me transition over to where it's set up at, and we'll talk about it, be right back. Alright, here's the bust, again, like the others, it's in quarter scale, um, you know, obviously being at the beginning of the movie, you've got the circular arc reactor in his chest instead of the new uh, reactor piece that he comes up with towards the end of the movie. I mean, as, like, as you can see, the, the armor is just, it's completely different look-wise than the other suits. Paint-wise, obviously, it's different. It, uh, I think to me, it's really, it's a nice nod that Favreau did to the Silver Centurion armor. Um... That that was used for a few, for a little while during the comics. Uh, for those of you that have read the comics, uh, maybe I should, you know, have said there was a spoiler there in that little that little bit. But um, you know, it's really neat. Uh, it, it looks I like this here. I mean, it looks it looks like it's a belt or something like a metal belt that stretches and fits. You know, I don't I don't know. It like like tracks on a tank. I think is kind of maybe a better way to describe. Let me see if I can get you a good clean detailed look on it. But that is really cool. Then you've got you can see kind of the inner workings of the underneath of the suit and then you've got you know the 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 you know the the bre not not the breastplate but really where the stomach area is at the abs and the the individual pieces that make up uh the 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 abdomen area. And what's cool is on the <coughs> Pardon me. Um, on the figure, is some of these will come off, and you can actually do a battle damage. And there is some battle damaged look to uh, this bus, and I'll show you that in a second. You've got the Mark V, uh, you know, nameplate and logo and stuff on the base. It's just like the others as far as that goes. You know, very mechanical looking. The back is, is like the front. It's got just a very mechanical look to it. Um, it's just, it's, it, it might be my favorite looking suit. I know I say that with every piece that comes out. It's really ridiculous, probably, uh, that I feel that way with each one. But um, I just, I like the way that, you know, each piece just, I don't know, brings out something for me. Um... See if I can get you a good look at the. There you go. And then obviously the the head does have some rotation in it, not much. And then obviously it lights up. Uh, Price-wise, $75, uh, which is pretty much in line with the other bus. The no edition size announced. It doesn't come with the AAA batteries that you have to use um, on the uh, you know, to, to have the bus so it lights up. 
So you'll, you'll want to make sure you have those. Uh, like I was saying, it does have battle damaged markings on it around the neck area. And then on the top part of the shoulder. So it's cool. Um, you know, it kind of gives it, like I said, a little bit more of a, a worn, real look. But really, I'm glad to have it to go with my others. Um, I'm really hoping that Sideshow at some point will do a quarter scale Mark V maquette. That would be fantastic. Uh, battle damaged or not, I, I, would, I would really kill to have one to go with my Mark VI. That would just be freaking badass. Uh, really cool piece. Like I said, 75 bucks, no edition size. Uh, it's really cool. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts on it in just a second. All right. Um, like I said, you know, 75 bucks, no edition size, but it's a really, really, really nice piece. Uh, especially, I mean, if you have, if you have the others, it really would make no sense not to get this to have the complete, you know, collection. Um, if you're a fan of Iron Man in general, or just you know, be, have become a fan because of the movies. I think this is a must-have type piece to go in the collection. Um, I I think it's I I think it's on waitlist at Sideshow's website. You might double check that. Uh, if not, I'm sure you can find it from like Alter Ego. Maybe Big Bad Toy Store's got it. Uh, but I would definitely check into getting it, guys. It's it's worth having. I'm glad that um, you know I added another Iron Man piece to my collection. Uh, you know, after seeing, after seeing Thor, uh, when it came out, I'm definitely stoked to be adding, uh, you know, those pieces to my collection and really start having a nice Avengers slash Marvel set up with all the stuff that's coming out. But, um, that's it for this review, guys. It's going to be probably, it's going to be pretty, pretty short compared to the other stuff. But, um, you know, as always, I'll have the, the pictures and the video up. Uh, you can check uh, the pictures out on my blog, crazycollecting.wordpress.com. Uh, like I said, I have the, the videos up, yeah, up here on my YouTube page, and I will talk to you guys later.